Hello, welcome to a Monday morning message. Today, I'm going to talk about something that a lot of us go through, especially in the modern era, especially as men, but not always men. No rain. Today might be a great insight for you to feel, okay, what I'm feeling is normal and what I'm going through is okay. And how can we fix it? So let's get started with today's Monday morning message. Today's Monday morning message, I bring to you the message called Feel Your Emotions. Feel Your Emotions. What do I mean by feel your emotions? Narayana, every time I get an emotion, I feel it. Well, that's a question. Do you really feel the emotions? You see, in the world that we live in, we are always programmed, always told, always encouraged to be tough to be tough and what does toughness equate to for most people for most people toughness equates to if i get emotional if i get giddy in my stomach if i feel a certain type of way if i feel nervous if i feel fearful if i feel sad if i feel you know depressed you got to pick back yourself and go do the work. I subscribe to that to a limit. We are always encouraged to escape the emotion that we are feeling and get to work or go take care of business. Anytime we're feeling especially heavy emotions, unpleasant emotions, we are forced almost by society to go pick yourself back up and get going. But Strength is not in escaping your emotion. Strength is in feeling your emotion. And this is through a lot of mistakes I have done. I think in the past, whenever I have felt, you know, nervousness, fear, jealousy, whatever it is, I have always tried to suppress it. Kind of put it on the carpet, you know, uh, in your home, if your dog poos, you pick up the carpet and put put the poo in and close the carpet. So it seems like, okay, everything is good. But actually what you just did is put the shit under the carpet. Same with our emotions. When unpleasant emotions come within us, something happens and we started feeling all this nervousness, angst and anxiety. Society always prescribes us to put those emotions away, not feel the emotions and just get back to business or work. And let me tell you, I promise you, There's been a lot of research done about this now that emotions not felt are just delayed. If you don't feel your emotions, if you don't feel the unpleasant emotions that rise within you and you try to put it away and get to business, someday or the other, it's going to come back to you, especially us as men. We have so many emotions bottled up sometimes in this pressure of looking strong It's just a matter of time that those emotions come back as a burst and a volcano. When you keep putting dog shit under the carpet, one day when you lift the carpet up, it's going to be so filthy and smelly. You might wonder, how do I clean this up? It's going to be so, so, so tough. And hence, this Monday morning message, a very different kind of message for you. And then next time, Something anxiety, something anxious, something worrying, something nerving, unnerving comes up. Don't try to escape it in that moment and try to distract yourself with either alcohol or phone or TV or chocolate or talking to a friend. Maybe take a couple minutes to yourself, 5, 10, 15 minutes without distracting yourself from the emotion. But allow yourself to feel the emotion. Allow that upsurge to come and then leave. Because if you just stay and allow yourself to feel the emotion, I guarantee one day or the other, it will, it's come up to actually leave. It's come up to actually leave. But what we do is we put a lid on it and we suppress it. And so it stays and grows. So the next time you have it, I'm not saying react externally. Let's say you feel jealousy, you go and do something. No, that's reaction. What I'm saying is within yourself, feel the emotion that's coming up. Okay, recognize I am feeling jealous right now. This is the feeling I'm having. Okay, I'm going to be with it. You allow yourself to feel that emotion and you will see it cleanses itself. It just comes and goes like water vapor. 
But what happens is we keep suppressing our emotions. Society asks us to suppress our emotions and that comes back to bite us much later. So the Monday morning message for today, this Monday, is very different. It's feel your emotions. So what is something that's troubling you this week? Is it like some study stuff that's coming up, some business stuff? Is there some animosity that you're feeling towards somebody? What unpleasant emotion are you feeling? And you're trying to put yourself away from it. You're trying to keep away from that unpleasant emotion. Take five minutes out. Feel the emotion and see you will be in a better position to respond. Feeling your emotion is better than fake positivity. It's only when you feel the emotion, let it cleanse, can you actually be a little fresher to take a new perspective on and to do something. I learned a lot of this through my own struggles when I was at the ashram for seven months. A lot of emotions rose within me like volcanic eruptions. And slowly after taking guidance, I had to realize, okay, I got to just let this feel and go, feel and go. And slowly a lot of it came up, a lot of it came up and went. And I realized a lot of it was just unreleased emotions from the past that I had suppressed in the image of looking strong in front of everybody. So folks, Monday morning message from my side, feel your emotions. That's it, period. And this is especially for those men who have this pretext of always trying to look strong. It's fine. You can look strong in front of the world. Feel the emotions if you want to behind closed doors. Nothing wrong with it. Cheers. Much love. It's even stronger if you feel your emotions in front of the world. But I do understand there are certain circumstances. I will see you next Monday, same time, same location with a different message. This Monday, a little different. Feel your emotions. It's stronger to feel your emotions than appear strong. Cheers.